Okay, so today I just picked up this mower from my stepmother's place. Uh, she complained that it's uh, uh, revving too fast when you start it up, so I'm assuming it's a governor issue that needs adjusted. Uh, we'll get into that and see what we can do to repair this, and that's up next here on Bud's Odd Jobs. Okay, we're going to try to start her up and see what she does. Yeah, she revs pretty high. That's not good. Okay, the first thing I'm going to try is to increase the tension on this uh, spring to see if that does the trick. We'll go ahead and put it in this rear hole and we'll give that a try to start it up and see what happens here. Okay, so it's still revving pretty high, so what I think I need to do is actually adjust the governor. And um, what I understand is that this, uh, here, this uh, pin, it goes back and it, it controls the adjustment on the governor. I just need to loosen this nut and uh, then take a, a pair of pliers. Well, it looks like it's got, uh, yeah, it's got a flat spot there that I can use to turn to see if uh, I can adjust that governor and then tighten it back up and we'll see if that fixes it. Okay, so I think that takes a metric wrench. Number 10. Okay, that's loose. I'll try it with my uh, needle nose channel locks here. So there's a pin back there that causes it only to turn so far. So I'm going to turn it all the way clockwise and tighten that down and see if that makes any difference. Not the easiest spot to get into. I think I'm going to check uh, this mechanism. Looks like I got a nice dirty filter there. Uh, let me go get my wrenches. So when I was uh, jiggling that throttle mechanism, I noticed a uh, tightness there. There was, didn't seem to be any play in it, so um, that's why I determined I better stop and, and take uh, uh, the the uh, filter off to get to the carburetor to, to look at that uh, uh, throttle mechanism see if there's a, an issue there oops
Okay, and taking this apart, what I found is that this, uh, I think it's called the, the butterfly or the throttle part, it was stuck really hard. It wasn't even moving. I had to force it to be able to break it loose. So I think that it kind of either got gummed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot that with a little uh, penetrating oil uh, to, and work it a little bit to loosen it up. And uh, we'll see then if uh, it'll, it'll work better. Uh, yeah, because it, it was... I had to push considerably to break it loose, so it just must have got gummed up, I guess. So we'll try a little pen penetrating oil and see if that uh, fixes the problem. Seems a lot freer now. Seems to be good. Well, let's see if we can't uh, reassemble this and see if it uh, does better now. So this is always a challenge trying to hold all these parts in place. While we try to reassemble, case in point. Okay, all back together. Let's go ahead and give her a try. OK, 
Okay, so it's no longer over revving. Uh, it is uh, surging. That's typically a problem with a dirty carburetor. Um, there's a little needle inside there. I've taken this apart before and, and you take a little wire and fish it down through there and clean that out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I am going to put that spring back in that prior hole since that wasn't the issue. See if that Now that's moving freely. Let's go ahead and try it with that change, see if it makes any difference in the surging. Forgot to turn the gas on, that always helps to turn that on. So let's uh, try it with the gas on, see if it makes any difference. So at least it's not revving anymore. Uh, I'll have to uh, take the opportunity to take this back apart and clean out that carburetor to fix that surging uh, issue. Um, but at least we fixed the over revving issue, which could easily damage the engine if you let it run too long at that rate, uh, at those RPMs. So I'm glad we got that part fixed. Okay, so I found that I just did a uh, slight adjustment here on that uh, governor making sure that I had it all the way clockwise and uh, started up just now and it's running smoothly uh, so I'll just give you a show here So it sounds like she's good to go. Thanks for watching today. Hey, uh, if these kinds of uh, videos are informative for you, you find those uh, helpful, uh, make sure uh, that you give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Uh, as stated in my welcome video, my philosophy is just to uh, kind of take the, the problems as they come as a homeowner and uh, just turn on the camera and show you how I tackle those. Uh, so hopefully uh, you'll find some useful information on this site. Uh, again, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.